today I have received my third and final unboxing for my Dior home as I love that fragrance line but this one And right off the bat, we get to see what our sample is. We'll just set that aside. Wow, it's going to have to spill a couple of peanuts in the process. This is proving rather I had to cut due to the fact that I had no other way of taking the boxes out other than flipping the whole thing over. I just couldn't get my in that box. But this shipment has two fragrances. Give it away there. Might 
guys will just show you. This is called Mephisto. It's by Serzhov under the Casamorati. For now, let's set it aside. So, Casa Morati. Bye. Serzhov. This fragrance is called Mephisto. I got it the 100 mil. So let's go ahead and open this box. I want to take the time and test out my new knife as well. Like he's a little samurai sword. I swear I'm going to cut my sword by accident in one of these videos. But look how cool this is. Okay, it's not fragrance related, so. Honestly, I, from the images, I thought this blade would be um, smaller, but it's really long. But it's so sharp. It's so sharp. I have no issues with this. No regrets either. abstract but you can tell the shape of a horse fresh and light like clouds blue sky and azure ocean Mephisto is divine and soothing splendor of classical Italian citrus, floral and woodsy perfume. A heritage, Mephisto unfolds with the marine vibe of a citrus accord, which includes divine grapefruit and bergamot to sign it, its Italian. While the neat green vibe turns into a joyous, powdery, 
and woody floral heart. The fragrance cruises to a prestigious and casual aura that has never been experienced before. An Italian cologne with a rich oriental nuance. is not compromised. It looks unscathed. So here is Mephisto. Such a nice little luxurious looking bottle. This is my first Zerzhov from the Casamorati line. This fragrance has been described as smelling very similar to Creed's Silver Mountain Water, which I smelled before and had a decant of to Silver Mountain Water. Yes. I definitely see the resemblance. 
this is a little more floral. Not as musky or metallic, but it is rather similar. This full presentation, despite it being damaged, cost me less than half the price of what a full presentation of Silver Mountain water would have cost me. Now, I think this part is damaged as well, but honestly, it's okay as long as the bottle isn't damaged, and it's not. So, I will definitely be wearing this a lot this year. been meaning to buy Silver Mountain water, but this is very similar and rather lovely, and I don't see myself, I don't see the need to buy Silver Mountain water anymore. So that is forget to read the fragrance notes. The main accords of this fragrance are citrus, fresh, floral, green, Notes include bergamot, grapefruit, lavender, and Calabrian lemon. Heart notes include rose absolute. These notes include musk, amber, cedarwood, and I think it's pronounced Missouri. Missouri sandalwood. And the perfumer is Shock Flory. I'm still smelling this fragrance of my skin. It's rather lovely.
So that's my first impression of Mephisto. Now for our second fragrance. This time I won't show. feel like a criminal. This search of is from the Shooting Stars collection. This is a 50 mil, and from what I understand, that's the only size, well that's the biggest size it comes in. The fragrance is Apollonia. Pretty standard, well, for Zerzhov. Um, the casing is pretty standard, but let's open it up and see. Oh, yeah, look at the fragrance.
so I had to cut the video because the fragrance was loose inside and I wanted to give you guys a proper presentation so this is Apollonia from There's a black, just as Serge shooting stars, Apollonia, and the date of twentieth July, nineteen sixty nine. And from what I read about this fragrance. This fragrance is a commemoration or, I guess, celebration, yeah, commemoration of the Apollo mission that happened in that date. When we went to the moon in 1969 and this fragrance bottle if you hadn't guessed already resembles the moon on the bottle says Apollonia you can see the crescent moon and in the bottom reads 1969-2019 slash so this fragrance came out in 2019 exactly 50 years after the Apollo mission Let's give it a smell, shall we? This is also a blind buy. This is a complete blind buy though. I did research the notes, but honestly, if you, if you hadn't noticed already, I just love the moon and all things space. And when I saw this bottle, I knew immediately what it was commemorating. And I had to have it. Oh, wow. So I've seen reviews of this fragrance. And... described as cold air like you're in the moon and many have described this as magical otherworldly ethereal just whole experience and well I was not I 
was not expecting this. I came in with high expectations and the scent actually surpassed those expectations. So, of the rib, when you smell it, it you do get the iris, and it does feel cold and powdery. But after you are done inhaling, all of that goes away and you're left with like a woody, still cold air taste in your mouth. Well, at least for me, it's so strange, but I like it. Let's look at the fragrance notes. So the main accords of Apollonia are powdery, floral, creamy, definitely creamy, fresh, and sweet. The fragrance pyramid is very simple. notes of white blossoms, hard notes of orris butter, and base notes of white musk. I definitely smell a woodiness in this fragrance toward the end. I don't know if Maybe the orris butter gives a woody nuance. This is my first time smelling orris butter in a fragrance. So that might be it. I understand that orris is the actual root of the plant that iris derives from, and yeah, my guess would be that since it's like the root of a plant, the root is sometimes thick and might be woody, and that's probably where the woody notes that I am picking up, where they're coming. that it's described as butter. That's where the creaminess comes from. And powdery due to iris is powdery. and Auras would be pretty similar to that. This smells very luxurious. I understand it's a parfum, a true parfum. Um, yes, this is my first search up that is a parfum. My others are eau de parfums, I believe. Again, this is my first 50 mil from the house, but I think there's no bigger size for this fragrance. Just blown away, blown away by this fragrance, and such a nice display bottle, at least for me, I don't know, it might look hideous to others, let me know what you guys think of the bottle, I just love the moon and so glad I bought this. Both of these, to be honest.
So that does it for this video. And in general, that does it for my birthday fragrance haul. This was my third and final package that I was waiting for. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you.